hidden forces are broken into two buckets, I believe, both economic and political. These forces have an effect on our money. They have an effect on our sustainability. They have an effect on our retirement. So if you're not taking the time to look at these hidden forces, these hidden forces could hurt you, not knowing, okay? So you want me to talk about these two hidden forces. Let me break it down really simple, economic and political. And then let's do a subset sure. so you can stay with me. When I say the word political, it's usually related to politicians and our tax system and the Federal Reserve. Because I think taxes and the Federal Reserve play into risks, hidden forces that affect us today. Okay? Mm -hmm. Economic. Let me break that down into two. Deregulation and free markets, allowing corporations to make their decisions. Mm -hmm. Those forces, when you give all the power to corporate America and take the power away from government, and I'm a big capitalist, by the way, but when capitalism is swayed one way too far to the right or too far to the left. And capitalism becomes, in my opinion, you know, ineffective because of these forces, both taxes on the political side and the Federal Reserve over here, and economics giving control to corporate America by reducing the rules and regulations. That is a recipe for fraud and greed. And we all know that. And inequality. So those three things come out of that. When you have fraud and you have greed and you have inequality, it affects you and I. It affects our money. It devalues the money when the Federal Reserve comes in and has to print money, right? When low tax rates make the rich richer. I heard in an article just, you know, Mr. Bezo had a salary of 81000 So how does those rich people pay less taxes than us Americans? that make 150,000. Right. So the tax system in the Federal Reserve is used unfortunately against middle the middle, okay? And then you have greed and corruption by corporate America to bend the rules so they can make more money because the economic ideology is make most money for the shareholders which are the owners by doing buybacks, lowering interest rate and taxes. And then we get into the cycle that gets out of control which we have today, which would took 50 years to get here from the 1970s to today. So how do you unravel that? You unravel that by giving the information to these kids in elementary school and high school and in college. Cuz if you don't educate them on hidden forces, how are they going to change our future? This isn't taught in college. My collaborator, Dr. Georgie, has a son who went to USC, econ major, right? He read about these forces that really aren't in book one, will be in book three. He says, I never learned this. I'm a 4.0 student at USC, and I never was told these things. So if we want to change our world, and change the new future of politicians and economists, then we must educate them on the choices that past leaders made and how it affected us, social issues in America. That's my passion. Oh my